The auto scan feature is useful for us building a tunnel profile to determine if the drilled, blasted, excavated, or bored area meets design tolerances. The next survey example, we will perform an auto scan of the tunnel. So we we'll go to the hamburger menu in the top left, select survey and auto scan. Select the TXL that you would like to use for your auto scan, press accept, and then we'll define a start station, end station, and station interval. In this case, I'm going to use the measure option to measure the station at which the wall I'm using to demonstrate is at, and we'll use the same station but if you wanted to do multiple stations at a time, you could. If you can see the station range that you want to scan when using the auto scan feature, use the measure button to manually measure the start and end stations. The station values can then be automatically computed and displayed. In this case, I'm measuring to a, a wall, so I'll use the same station for the start and end. Next, we'll select a station interval. We'll select one meter. Once we press enter, we can then select a surface to use and we'll use our surface one press next and now in the map view we can see our total station relative to the alignment and we can pan and zoom in to once you're ready to perform the auto scan press next from here we can see the cross-section view of the station on the tunnel alignment we'll be measuring. Once we're ready to start the auto scan we'll press start before auto scanning we'll have to set the the scan and manual settings. We'll choose a point number. In this case, I'm gonna use S10001. We could define a code as well. The scan interval along the tunnel surface at which we would like to measure. So we'll choose half a meter as well as the timeout. So this timeout defines how long the instrument will measure before moving on to the next interval. There's other, also various other options like performing an on-station adjustment for the auto scan. The on station adjustment feature is used to control the position that will be measured when the tunnel surface does not match the design, such as if the tunnel surface is irregular in certain spots. This diagram shows how that can occur, where the design position is actually inside of the surface, and when measuring to it, we are measuring on the surface, or therefore the instrument must be rotated to be on line with the station. But there's an offset to the design position. That's why it is very crucial to use the on-station adjustment if this is necessary to measure data on the station. And manual measurement, as well as showing cross-section guidelines, such as the spring line, floor line, and vertical profile center line. Once you're ready, you can press accept. The next settings are for the station and overbreak and underbreak tolerances. These will show any points that do not make the tolerance. In this case, I'll choose 0.1 meters, and we'll choose five iterations to measure. Once you press start, then the instrument will automatically auto-scan. As the instrument is auto-scanning, you can see the points created or not created on the cross-section view. And you see here that we have several points that are out of the tunnel design. Once the auto scan is complete, we'll show the results and what stations were scanned, the number of points that were captured, number of points skipped, as well as any points outside of that tolerance. This is why the arrows, errors encountered measure, errors encountered measure. This is why the errors encountered message shows up for the three points that were out of the tolerance for underbreak. So in this case, we haven't drilled, blasted, or bored on the top side of the tunnel enough. There's still more. And if I select a point in the cross-section view, I can view the underbreak, the station delta, and what point is there. So in this case, the underbreak is 1.5 meters, which is out of the tolerance. I can also select any of the measurements that were within tolerance and see that. Once I'm done, I'll press close and we can do another auto scan or we can escape out to the main screen. In the main screen, we can see on the map the points that have been measured so far.